Hello, first folks. Pastor Dennis Tedder here. Welcome to the Weekly Word for the week of June 13th. I'm reflecting with you and sharing with you just for a few moments on my daily devotional time as I work through, as many of you are, our deep dive Bible reading plan. Um, this past, the deep dive reading plan each week continues readings that reflect on the Sunday's passage and sermon. This past Sunday, Pastor Chad preached from Acts chapter 2, and the very first portrait or picture of what that growing startup church looked like in terms of its activities. And there were certain things, teaching, fellowship, communion, and so forth, that and, and, a, and a generosity of spirit that helped that startup church, the, the, the baby church. So I'm thinking about our church as we restart up after a time of more restricted access, and as we're reopening, rebuilding, regathering, and as we're coming into some new spaces and remodeled spaces. I don't know if you have been here in the new Welcome Center to see this sign. This is our new elevator, and right now it's out of order. Elevator and hall is working, sorry for the inconvenience. Friends, we are waiting on a part for the circuit panel. It seems that uh, old electrical systems aren't necessarily <laughs> completely geared for new buildings and new um, drains of power. So we still have work to do um, in all of our spaces, and we're, gonna, we're waiting on that part. So we need, in order to reopen and rebuild fully and to use this elevator, we need some parts, we need an electrician, we need some patience. But I want to read from today's Deep Dive Daily Reading Plan. It's from Acts chapter 4. Listen to this. The whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul. No one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and bought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to in each as any had need. They shared so that folks in need had what they needed. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. Barnabas sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. So we hear about the generosity, the spirit of sharing and looking out for one another that was part of what helped the church to grow and to be built up before there were buildings in that early church. And we hear about this one servant, Barnabas. Well, that's his nickname, Son of Encouragement. And as I think about our building and rebuilding and reopening and regrouping and regathering, we need electrical panel for our elevator. We may need to touch up some paint here and there. We may need to rework some things and we're working on those, those, those projects. But what do we need to truly build the body of Christ and to grow into the body of Christ? Well, one of those things is encouragement, and we don't have to wait on that like we do on a part or on labor, skilled labor. We all can bring encouragement. And so for my thinking in the Daily Deep Dive, what am I doing to encourage others in their discipleship as Christian believers so that we're strong in, as we heard in Acts chapter 4, our testimony to the risen Lord Jesus Christ, to his resurrection? So whatever else we bring to grow and build and rebuild the church here, we know that encouragement is something we will need, perhaps more than anything else, encouragement in the Lord. Now this summer, our summer preaching series is We Are the Family of God, and our deep dive daily Bible reading plan is unpacking this theme, We Are the Family of God, and we encourage you to read along with us. The daily scripture for each day is short with a question to consider or a call to action. And if you need access to a copy of Deep Dive, please let us know in the church office. And so I encourage you to encourage others. I encourage you to spend time with God, with God's word. And I hope to see you Sunday in worship.